A terrified bear is trapped on top of a utility pole, packed with enough electricity to light up a neighborhood. She clings on for dear life. Then suddenly, American black bears, powerful animals with massive claws. But when in danger, these bears prefer flee to fight. They live in forests or shrubby areas. It's when the food is scarce, they venture into unwelcome territory. But it's not food or a fight that brings this adult female to an Albuquerque, New Mexico neighborhood. It's a mother's instinct. She's become separated from her cub and now is desperately looking for her baby. She's agitated, frantic in her search, and sparking terror among locals. The bear eludes capture for hours. She doesn't know her baby is safe, caught in the same neighborhood the day before. In her panic to get away, the bear makes a move that puts her life at risk. Climbing usually helps black bears escape danger. However, this is no tree. It's a power pole carrying 7,000 volts of electricity. Wildlife personnel armed with tranquilizer guns are on the ground. They're faced with a torturous decision. They decide the bear is a danger to the neighborhood and to herself. It's an agonizing judgment call. They fire. Tranquilizers have a small explosive charge, which detonates on impact and quickly injects the sedative. The amount of serum in the dart is based on weight. Not enough will make her groggy, but too much could kill her. Minutes go by, then half an hour. She's still hanging on. An hour later, she can hang on no longer. There is no safety net, and power lines are everywhere. Wildlife officer Luke Shelby and others rush to the motionless body. What they discover shocks everyone. The mother is injured, but alive. Immediately, she's taken to the Rio Grande Zoo, where she's examined. Amazingly, she has no broken bones or internal injuries from the 30-foot freefall. As for why she survived, when her right leg touches the live wire, her fur acts as an insulator, deflecting most of the deadly current. Still, the charge is enough to jolt her off the pole. Luckily, there simply isn't enough time for the electricity to run through her body. Still, she's severely burned on both hind legs. Lead veterinarian Dr. Brett Snyder doesn't know if the cub will be left without a mom. Still, he's hopeful that won't happen. In working with bears, we find that they're excellent wound healers. She's put on large doses of medications. The charred skin and burnt tissue is removed. Mama Bear astounds everyone. She proves to be a fighter. It takes weeks, but she starts to make a full recovery. It was the most remarkable healing episode I've seen. Eventually, she's well enough to be reintroduced to her cub, and it's a loving reunion. Untamed and uncut. Only on Animal Planet.